today we talked about how online learning is a big hit in the education space and how schools are adapting themselves to use this. On today's show, we will take a look at how startups are venturing into the space and also what beyond schools. Online learning is also a big hit in the professional space. Stay tuned as we find out. E-learning has also entered the startup ecosystem. Startups like Educart help you take distant online courses with live video classes and a lot more. Take a look. 22 years old Yashasvi holds a degree in Bachelors of Business Administration from IP University, Delhi. After completing her undergrad, she had planned to pursue her master's soon but with an added condition. Hoping to work while she was studying. Yashasvi then opted for a master's degree in business administration using the e-learning platform. Uh, I have done my graduation like from a regular college that is from IP University that is a BBA program. So I used to go to college, I used to attend classes but then I thought to go for the master's program and that too I felt like going for an e-lectures or something that I can study online. I want to go for something different now. So I thought of uh, going for the BB, uh, MBA program from Bharti Vidya P. After having heard about a platform from friends, she walked in for advice. She admits this was something new for her. First of all, I am getting reference material. That is, I am studying out of the study material, the study, the notebook I am having from the university. Other than that, uh, they are providing the support of uh, subject matter expert. So that any query I have, I just need to drop a mail and they will revert back about the uh, solution for that. A bachelor's degree in engineering from University of Delhi and an MBA from Stanford University. Ishan Gupta co-founded Educart in December 2011. With over 1500 courses across various fields on offer, each comes with a fee, depending on the level of degree. A platform such as this allows a student to choose a desired course and study from a platform what they call an e-campus. E-Campus is a learning management system of Educart. We build it inside and uh, so it's basically a Moodle based platform where user gets content, access to the content which is a mobile as well as tablet compatible. Uh, it can be accessed from anywhere, anytime. Uh, it, we also deliver uh, online webinars which is a live class from there. The choices are not limited. A platform such as Educart provides certificate courses in areas of digital marketing, HR, financial management, programming languages, Microsoft, Adobe to name a few. For students, MBA, MCA, BBA remain popular choices. A student can learn at his own pace through a wide range of distance and online degree, diploma and certificate course options. Admission counsellors are available over the phone, emails or via chat for any help. We have recently, in the last couple of years, seen top tier institutions join the e-learning initiative and launching their own programs. I think that is bringing a lot more credibility to the space of online education. And once top tier institutions start coming and promoting courses, the way they are delivering the courses starts becoming mainstream and the credibility of that platform increases. So I think e-learning is in that space where over the next two to three years, it will probably be competing with traditional learning in many areas. What makes such a platform different from MOOCs, you ask? Though India is the second biggest market for MOOCs, or massive open online courses in the world following the US, one of the key differences between MOOCs and interactive courses on a platform such as Educart are the completion rates. But this too comes with its own set of challenges. Creating engaging models for the delivery of online education is one. Another challenge is the credibility issue to raise the trust level for online education among students and employers. I think the first and foremost challenge is who is delivering the program. So as I said earlier, if more and more top tier institutions join the online education uh, phenomena and start providing courses online, then the credibility of the whole uh, method of online education increases. I think the second challenge is how fast will corporates accept the uh, relevance of an online program and again uh, if students go out there well prepared if the assessments taken online are rigorous and as tough as they would be in a real-time classroom and if the students passing those assessments are graded at the same level then a corporate will be able to see that and start accepting that also so I think it is both sides it is the who is providing the course 
and is a comp is a employer at the end of the day accepting it as a relevant uh, accreditation or not the concept of e learning in india in the form of distance education is yet in its early stages however as a mode of teaching it is being increasingly used in educational institutes across the nation and according to industry experts the online space will be up for grabs for upcoming startups in the near future Online learning is not limited to schools and colleges it also caters to the corporate sector say for instance someone wants to improve their english language skills or prepare for a job interview there are platforms now available beyond brick and mortar for that as well technology is the name of the game in today's world and no sector has been left untouched including education in fact e learning is now venturing into the corporate sector as well and this time with the help of the mobile phone take for instance this app called the vernacular app aimed at providing english language skills to a person starting from any regional language across india it starts from the very basics right from forming a sentence to instructing on the do's and don'ts of writing paragraphs and so on Another interesting app is this one. It uses speech recognition to correct a user's English language pronunciation. What's interesting about this is that once you've recorded your voice into the device, it uses the color coding to check how correct your pronunciation is, whether you're completely off or bang on target. Uh in India what we usually have seen is that you know a lot of people have mother tongue influence in their pronunciation. Right to to rectify that or to counterpart that what we have developed is a speech recognition engine. which is continuously bombarded with different vocabulary words across different languages in india uh so whenever a, uh, so through the app a person can actually pronounce a word into the app the app would give him a response whether he's done a correct pronunciation or not and it would it would take into effect his mother tongue influence as well so probably someone like a, a, a tamilian would pronounce a word differently and a north indian would pronounce a word differently but the app would uh, is intelligent enough uh, that it would give him that whether He would, uh, if you would if you would judge it's a tamilian accent and but the pronunciation is correct another niche product that caters to working professionals using m learning is an interview prep app aimed at helping individuals prep for their job interviews one can see demo videos or offer a live webinar with an instructor using this one we can usually pick a topic which is given through the week where they have done some concept they've gone through the concept they've done some practice and then we go ahead with this activity wherein they can tell me their own responses for example a question like where do you see yourself 5 years from now so uh, they've seen the conversation they framed their own answers they've done their own recordings they've gone through that whole process and now they can give the same response to me and we can collate and we can probably further enhance it The idea behind all these apps is to make several skill training products available to the market on their smartphones or tablets for people always on the go or those who do not have access to a computer. What we follow in Liquid is a CAP approach. When I say CAP it means concept, activity and practice. The app uh, is a short you can say a crash course for any learner who has a uh, interview probably tomorrow or on the next day. and uh, there are slick videos multimedia interactive videos that we have placed there for him to uh, analyze what a interviewee and interviewer inter how they interact and what do what they what did have to do and what they do not have to do uh moving ahead we have an activity session a virtual classroom uh, platform we have built in yeah. and through which a uh, remote uh, a person in remote location can actually give a mock interview to our, one of our trainers the trainer can then uh, give him feedback but with better technology come even greater challenges challenges uh, basically the connectivity problems are there in the remote locations so we have to build up a software which doesn't require uh, connectivity for activating the softwares so we do lot of sms activating the uh, sms based activation so that uh, if the internet is not available still they can send a message and get the software activated so these are the challenges we face majorly the internet connectivity is the major problem which is not available in the lot of remote areas noida based liquid e learning firm is developing several apps for mobile learning the team focuses on developing user and technology friendly software and products 
with more than 3 lakh learners across colleges, vocational institutes and some of its big tie-ups include IIT Delhi, Jawaharlal Nehru University and HP. 20 years ago there was no mobile phones, right? I mean, yeah. and now all my business is on mobile. So it's a huge learning and that applies to most people. Mm -hmm. so, so the learning is, is essential, right? There is less time people have. Typical school and college education is just in case learning, right? They teach you a bunch of stuff in case you need it later. But when you get into the working environment that you need uh, what you need then, right? What I need tomorrow. If I'm preparing for an interview, then what I need tomorrow. Yeah. So it's just in time learning, right? Yeah. And I think that's, and that can only be done digitally. Yeah. There is no way you can have, uh, you know, uh, you can do it in a classroom. Digital education in India has been gaining ground with the increasing usage of internet and mobile in the learning process. Technology is constantly evolving and M-learning will be a major contribution to education. But is this the future of e-learning? Given the pace at which technology is evolving, we doubt it. It's time for us to slip into a short break now. You don't go anywhere. We're back with lots more on the other side. Last year, Indian students spent $7 billion studying in foreign universities. And this year, one exceptionally bright, not to mention incredibly lucky student is going to be one of them. That too, free of cost. Deakin University and NDTV are partnering in a 100% tuition-free scholarship. An intelligent, hard-working and enterprising student. And someone who's socially responsible, who can help to shape the India story. So apply now for a scholarship grant of 60 lakh rupees. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to study with the best free of cost. Log on to ndtv.com slash scholarship. Last date of applications is 20th May 2015. Because India's brightest minds deserve the finest opportunities.